Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey into the heart of mystery. Join me as we venture into the world's most enigmatic woodlands, places where myth and reality intertwine. These are the enchanted forests where ancient trees whisper secrets on the breeze, and shadows hold the promise of magic. Throughout history, humanity has always been drawn to the mystery of the deep woods. From the Brothers Grimm to ancient folklore, these forests have inspired countless tales of wonder and fear. But beyond the realm of fairy tales, these forests hold real-life mysteries that continue to baffle scientists and enthrall explorers to this day. Prepare to be captivated by the unexpected, the unexplained, and the truly awe-inspiring as we delve into the unknown and uncover the secrets that lie hidden within these enchanted realms. Our journey begins in the heart of Germany, in the haunting depths of the Black Forest. This sprawling woodland, with its dense canopy of evergreens blocking out the sun, has long been a source of inspiration for some of our most enduring fairy tales. It's easy to imagine the Brothers Grimm wandering these shadowed paths, drawing inspiration from the forest's ethereal beauty and haunting solitude. Here, amongst ancient pines and shimmering streams, reality blurs with folklore. The forest whispers with tales of werewolves and witches, of mischievous sprites and slumbering giants. And while these stories may be the stuff of legend, the Black Forest holds its share of real-life mysteries as well. Deep within the forest lies the Mummel Sea, a glacial lake steeped in local legend. It's said that a Nyx, a shape-shifting water spirit, resides within its depths, luring unsuspecting travelers to a watery grave. The truth, as always, is likely more mundane, but the lake's murky depths and the surrounding misty forests continue to fuel the imagination. But the Black Forest is not just a place of myth and legend. It's a vital ecosystem, home to a rich array of flora and fauna. Here, amongst the towering trees, roam wild boar and red deer, while goshawks and peregrine falcons patrol the skies. And in the spring, the forest floor erupts in a vibrant tapestry of wildflowers, a testament to nature's enduring beauty. The Black Forest, with its haunting beauty and rich history, serves as a fitting reminder of the power of nature to inspire both wonder and fear in equal measure. It's a place where the imagination can run wild, and where, for a moment, we can believe that anything is possible. Our journey now takes us eastward, to the foothills of Mount Fuji in Japan, where we encounter Aokigahara, a forest shrouded in an eerie silence and a haunting reputation. Known as the Sea of Trees, Aokigahara has a density and otherworldly stillness that feels almost unsettling. The air is thick with an oppressive stillness, broken only by the gentle breeze rustling through the leaves and the crunch of footsteps on the forest floor. The forest floor is a tangled maze of moss-covered roots and fallen trees, a testament to the volcanic nature of the region. Sunlight struggles to penetrate the dense canopy, casting long, eerie shadows that dance and shift with the breeze. It's a place of stark beauty, yet undeniably imbued with an atmosphere of melancholy. Aokigahara's somber reputation precedes it, often associated with stories of lost souls and tragic ends. While we won't delve into those darker aspects, it's important to acknowledge the forest's cultural significance and treat it with the respect it deserves. Despite its somber reputation, Aokigahara is a place of natural wonder. The volcanic soil enriched by the slopes of Mount Fuji supports a unique ecosystem. Here you'll find species of trees and plants found nowhere else on Earth, clinging tenaciously to life in this unusual environment. Aokigahara with its haunting beauty and somber history, serves as a poignant reminder of the duality of nature. It is both beautiful and unsettling, a place of peace and of sorrow. It's a place that commands respect, both for its natural splendor and for the stories it holds. Prepare yourselves, dear viewers, as we venture now into the heart of Transylvania, Romania, to a forest whispered to be a portal to another dimension, Hoya Bacu. This forest has captivated the imagination of paranormal investigators and thrill-seekers for decades, and for good reason. Strange occurrences are commonplace here, from unexplained electromagnetic anomalies to chilling EVP recordings that send shivers down your spine. The forest itself has an unsettling aura. Trees twist into unnatural shapes, their branches contorted as if frozen in a silent scream. The air hums with an unseen energy, and many who enter report a feeling of being watched of an unseen presence accompanying their every step. One of the most enduring mysteries of Hoya Bachu is the existence of a perfect circle, devoid of any vegetation, deep within the forest. Scientists and paranormal enthusiasts alike have proposed numerous theories, a landing pad for extraterrestrial spacecraft, a gateway to another dimension, or simply a natural anomaly. Whatever the explanation, the Circle of Transylvania remains a source of endless fascination and speculation. 
Hoya Bachu is a place where the veil between our world and the unknown seems to thin. Whether you believe in the paranormal or simply enjoy a good mystery, there's no denying that Hoya Bachu holds a certain allure. It's a place that challenges our understanding of the natural world and leaves us questioning the very nature of reality. But be warned, dear viewers, Hoya Bachu is not for the faint of heart. Many who enter its shadowy depths report feelings of anxiety, nausea, and even unexplained scratches and burns. Whether these are the result of psychosomatic suggestion or something more sinister remains a matter of debate. From the eerie realm of Transylvania, we journey now to a forest that seems straight out of a surrealist painting, the crooked forest of Poland. Imagine, if you will, a grove of pine trees all bent at a sharp 90-degree angle at their base, creating a uniform curve before shooting straight up towards the sky. It's a sight that defies easy explanation, leaving botanists and visitors alike baffled by its strange beauty. Over 400 pine trees, planted in the 1930s, exhibit this peculiar curvature, all bending northward before resuming their vertical growth. Theories abound, of course. Some speculate that a unique gravitational pull or localized weather phenomenon is responsible. Others believe that human intervention, perhaps a specific tool or technique used during planting, is the cause. Yet despite decades of research and speculation, the crooked forest's secret remains elusive. No definitive explanation has ever been found for this botanical anomaly, adding to the air of mystery that hangs heavy over the grove. As we stand amidst these crooked pines, it's impossible not to feel a sense of wonder at the power and unpredictability of the natural world. Nature, it seems, delights in keeping her secrets. And perhaps that's part of what makes a journey through these enchanted forests so captivating. The crooked forest stands as a testament to the unknown, a silent reminder that we don't have all the answers and that some mysteries are best left unsolved. It's a place that inspires awe and invites contemplation, encouraging us to embrace the unknown and marvel at the endless wonders of the natural world. Our quest for the unexplained now leads us to the ancient heart of England, to Witchwood Forest, a place where history and folklore intertwine. Once a royal hunting ground, Witchwood has borne witness to centuries of human drama, its ancient oaks whispering tales of kings and queens, of poachers and highwaymen. But it's the forest's association with the supernatural that truly captures the imagination. For centuries, locals have whispered of strange encounters within Witchwood's shadowy depths. Phantom huntsmen are said to roam the woods, their spectral horns echoing through the trees, a chilling reminder of the forest's hunting past. Others speak of a ghostly black dog, its eyes glowing red in the darkness, a harbinger of misfortune to those who cross its path. One of the most enduring legends of Witchwood Forest is that of Amy Robsart, the wife of Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester. Amy met an untimely death, and legend has it that her heartbroken spirit still wanders the forest, searching for her lost love. Whether these tales are rooted in fact or simply the product of overactive imaginations, there's no denying the palpable sense of mystery that pervades Witchwood Forest. But Witchwood is more than just ghost stories and ancient legends. It's a haven for biodiversity a tapestry of ancient woodland, open grassland, and hidden streams. Here, amongst the wildflowers and brambles, rare butterflies flutter and endangered bats take flight at dusk. It's a reminder that even in the face of the unknown, life finds a way to thrive. Witchwood Forest, with its rich history and supernatural lore, reminds us that some places hold a power that transcends explanation. It's a place where the past feels close at hand and where, for a moment, we can believe in the magic that lies hidden just beyond the veil of the everyday. Our final destination takes us just outside the bustling metropolis of London to Epping Forest, a sprawling ancient woodland that seems a world away from the city's hustle and bustle. For centuries, Epping Forest has served as a green escape for Londoners seeking respite from city life, its ancient trees standing as silent sentinels to the passage of time. But beneath Epping's tranquil exterior lies a darker history. This forest has borne witness to its share of human darkness, from highwaymen ambushing unsuspecting travelers to the gruesome discovery of murder victims their stories forever etched into the forest's folklore. One particularly chilling tale is that of Dick Turpin, a notorious highwayman who used Epping Forest as a hideout in the 18th century. Legend has it that his ghost still haunts the forest, his spectral horse's hooves echoing through the trees, a reminder of the forest's lawless past. But Epping Forest is also a place of unexpected beauty and tranquility. Hidden amongst its ancient trees are tranquil ponds, their surfaces reflecting the sky like shards of broken glass. Deer graze peacefully in sun-dappled clearings, their watchful eyes following our every move. As we stand on the edge of this ancient woodland, the city's noise fading into the distance, 
It's easy to imagine ourselves transported back in time. We can almost hear the echoes of laughter and sorrow, of lives lived and lost, all woven into the very fabric of this ancient place. As our journey through the world's most mysterious, enchanted forests draws to a close, I hope you'll carry with you a sense of wonder and a thirst for exploration. The world is full of extraordinary places, each with its own story to tell, its own mysteries to unravel. If you've enjoyed this glimpse into the unknown, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more intriguing explorations. And don't forget to share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. I'm always eager to hear from fellow adventurers. Remember the most enchanting journeys are often those that lead us off the beaten path and into the heart of the unknown. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and never lose your sense of wonder.